Hey folks, Matt from Drones Magazine coming back at you with video number four for our first ever vehicle week featuring the Dramata Vista quadcopter. Today we're talking about modifications. Basically it is a fairly simple machine so you're pretty much limited to prop changes as far as color goes and the lenses for the LEDs on the bottom. Uh, we've taken the red machine here and already put the blue props on the back. The rear blacks were a little bit beat up and we figured we'd give it a custom color combo. Uh, each prop is held on to the motor shaft with one single screw. There's a flat spot in the shaft so the props are self-aligning. You just have to make sure that you have the A's and B's where they're supposed to go. A on the right rear and left front, B on the right front and left rear. Okay. Flip it over to the bottom, we can see where we can get out our lens covers. You've got three screws holding the front cover in. I already took the, the left side cover off of this one. I was gonna replace it with the green one. You basically have to make sure that you get the, the inside mounted in there first. Oh, we gotta pull this motor pot off. Get the inside in there first, then you sneak this one down around the motor, motor wires, and then the whole thing kind of pops into place, and you put your three screws back in. The little itty bitty guy goes in the back here, and once you pop your motor pod back into place, you can put in the big screw. I'm using a cow RC magnetic mat here. If you don't have one of those to keep your screws from bouncing onto the floor, use a towel or something like that. That's pretty much it for all the modifications you can do with the stock parts on this machine. You can pretty much rig up whatever color combo you want. One other cool thing we did for flying outside in the heavy winds is we made some bullnose props. We took a set of micrometers, measured about eight mil or exactly eight millimeters in from the outside on each prop and snipped them off with a pair of Lexan scissors. It gives us a little less rotor disc area for a little less power but it helps it fly in heavy winds a lot better because there's less area for that wind to catch. That's about all for today, but be sure to stay tuned, and uh, we're going to let you know shortly how you can win one of these cool machines for yourself. So tune in tomorrow for our action video. Thanks.